Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to look at um, more of a near-term trade that is setting up right now. It's actually a company called NVIDIA. They do a lot of the processing power for uh, video gaming things and a lot more. They just had, um, quite frankly, amazing numbers, amazing uh, earnings. Um, my Wall Street Journal thing here tells me they just came in with sales that were up 40 plus percent uh, EPS, adjusted EPS. Uh, I think more than doubled. So these are really impressive numbers. Uh, the, the the concern here, of course, now is what happens with the virus in China. Um, some of the journalists here are saying that basically uh, the, the the demand for, for, for the products that NVIDIA de creates or, or sells uh, tends to be ordering months in advance. So we're probably just now over the next uh, quarter or so gonna start to feel some of these effects as, a, as it, as it uh, uh, as it um, relates to the coronavirus. But I want to give you guys a, a, a bit of a visual um, uh, angle at this as well. And for that, let's go to the chart. Uh, it's this one here I need to do. And what you can see is that the shares of NVIDIA, this is a daily chart, and this does not yet take into account the uh, move that we are likely to see higher, at least to some extent here today, on uh, February 14th, happy Valentine's Day, by the way, because um, I'm recording this here way before the market opens. But uh, what you can see is that we had a very steep ascend uh, and we are right now likely, once the market opens, at least in pre-market trading so far, uh, this stock is likely to uh, be right around the previous all-time highs from September 2018. Now, um, this looks impressive on the daily chart where it gets more impressive or even more concerning, I should say, is on the weekly chart. And on the weekly chart, you can see, if we peel this back a bit, is that we are attacking these previous all-time highs from a very steep angle, right? I mean, we've, this stock is basically, along with a lot of the other uh, mega cap sort of um, tech things, has gotten chased higher, uh, ETF indexing, all this stuff, algos is all kind of what's leading to this. I alluded to this in a video I made earlier this week. But um, from a technical perspective, so you guys know, the odds are extremely low that the stock from here meaningfully exceeds uh, on a sustainable basis the previous all-time highs of around 290 to maybe around the 300 mark. Again, this is a longer-term chart, so I'm gonna give us a bit of, of breathing room. So I think um, this stock is probably gonna start to slow down and consolidate, and probably over the course of the next few weeks, couple of months or so, probably even mean revert to the downside. I can't give you an exact price entry port or anything like that yet because the market hasn't opened yet, but I did want to put that on your radar as more of a near-term thing. It is a very important stock in a very important group of stocks. Semiconductor stocks are unbelievably important. Um, and uh, so that always bears uh, watching. But again, you can see what's happening here from a momentum perspective. Of course, the stock is now right back to where it was in 2017 even. So, uh, you know, momentum, you have to be careful with using momentum too much because that can kind of throw you off. But I think from a price perspective, you know, price is the ultimate arbiter. Um, the price here, I think, is telling us that this stock is most likely going to start slowing down, whether it's a double top or anything like that. I have no idea. I'm not here to make those those um, those kinds of claims. What I do think, the odds are very high that this stock will start to stall here around the $290 to $300 area. Um, I wouldn't personally necessarily try to short the stock until we get some sort of a bearish reversal. Um, so just kind of to let you know, but again, I can't give you an exact entry point because the stock hasn't, again, hasn't even opened for trading it, but I did want to put it on your radar in case you have the urge and the itch to, to chase the stock higher. I think the odds here are, are much better that the stock will consolidate here at the previous all time highs. And maybe ultimately with the course of the next few weeks, couple of months or so actually starts to mean revert lower again before it ultimately potentially could go higher. So anyway, folks, uh, folks, I hope this has been, um, uh, this has been helpful. And uh, again, as always, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, subscribe, and uh, hit the like button. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.